What, what have you learned uh, about this town, your teammates, and is this a bigger challenge even than you anticipated with the pandemic, with all that's going on and what you've had to overcome? Yeah, I, 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 I think every football season is a big challenge in one way or another. And um, obviously for me, it, you know, changing teams after a long period of time, um, you know, giving me an opportunity to really look at myself and what I want to continue to, uh, you know, achieve in my career and think that I can bring to a team. Um, it's, it's, it's been different having the opportunity, you know, over this time to, you know, move and then to, you know, for example, study my playbook. I mean, I really haven't had to do that in 19 years. So, you know, you forget, man, that's really tough. Like all the different terminologies and, you know, you're going back a very long time in my career to, um, you know, to really have to put the mental energy in like I did. So I have to work at it pretty hard physically still, you know, I, I put a lot of time and energy into making sure I'm feeling good um, in order to perform at my best. But mentally, I think that's been the thing that's, um, you know, obviously has its challenges. And I think you couple that with, um, you know, the coronavirus situation and uh, it became even uh, more difficult. So I think conversations we probably would have had, uh, you know, in April, we're having now. And I think that part is a bit challenging too. So, um, you know, the only thing you do is, you know, adjust to the situation, adapt the best way you can, um, put as much time and energy now as we can into it. And I think the reality is the clock's ticking on everybody. And um, we're going to have to work as hard as we can and not waste any minutes of any day trying to get used to one another and um, embrace the challenge and, and see it as an opportunity to see, um, you know, what we can become. Next up is going to be Ira Kaufman. Tom, um, Jason Light and Bruce Arians, uh, they both say that uh, one of the primary reasons you're here, Tom, is, is to raise the accountability uh, of everybody in the building, everybody around you. Uh, Tom, how seriously do you take that responsibility and, and how do you do it? Well, I, at first I really enjoyed, you know, being with Jason and getting to know Bruce, um, getting to know Byron and Clyde and uh, a bunch of guys that I competed against either as a player, um, you know, or with them as coaches. So it's been kind of fun in that way to, uh, you know, to see the different approaches to the game and so forth. Um, you know, everybody sees football a little bit different. Um, you know, it's about how we all see it together and how we can all be on the same page as we move forward. Um, ultimately, my goal is to go out there and do what I've always done is to be the best I could possibly be for the team. And, um, you know, I've tried to catch passes in my career. I've tried to make blocks. I've had a few runs, but I'm not very good at any of those. Um, I think my best ability is, you know, reading defenses and throwing the football. So um, I think all of us being on the same page, which is something we're really working hard at, uh, you know, to try to get on the same page after, you know, not having many opportunities. You know, we haven't had a really a full speed practice yet at all. So um, I'm anxious to get that started so I can start learning um, in a more uh, typical way. So it's, it, it certainly is, uh, like I said, has its challenges. And okay, next up is going to be Greg Allman. Hey, Tom, thanks for doing this. Tom, the, uh, the decision in terms of players opting out, I know the deadline is still today, and it's a very personal decision for everybody. Uh, but across the league, you, you've seen a lot of players doing it. You guys, the Buccaneers, uh, hadn't had any until today. You had one backup lineup lineman announced today he's opting out. I just want to ask you about the buy-in factor uh, when it comes to summer workouts, when it comes to what you've seen already. How much do you think your teammates have bought in on, on wanting to play and wanting to try and win something with you here? Yeah, I think, you know, again, all those things are, you know, those are to be determined for all of us, you know, as we move forward and the type of buy-in and, you know, really what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And you got to work hard every day to, uh, you know, bring your best emotional energy, uh, you know, to be at your best physically, to learn to know what to do in order to be your best. So, you know, the guys that I've been around, um, you know, it's, 
it's been just that. I mean, guys are working really hard to get to know to want get to get to know one another. Um, you know, again, we haven't had any practices yet, so it's it, it's hard to you know football and you know throwing the ball around at a workout or something like that's a lot different than real football and being in the huddle and uh, getting to know people in that way, knowing who you can really count on. But I think you just have to do what you can with what's we're all dealing with. Um, try to make the most of it and try to understand that we're, um, you know, the clock's ticking on all of us and, you know, we've got a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time. Okay, next up is going to be Ed Encina. Hi, Tom. Um, obviously, we, we know you're a guy who really, you know, puts it all in, into your body. You really value taking care of your body. I mean, I'm just wondering, how, how much are, have you been concerned about, about COVID as we've gone on to the past few months, you know, I, I know a few weeks ago you tweeted out the FDR quote, you know, but you know, the only thing we have to fear is, is fear itself. You know, how, how worried are you or what's your level of concern about it personally? And just, you know, also the lead why that, you know, that you guys can, can get this season underway and complete it since it's one that's, you know, really important to you guys. Yeah, I think, you know, you're just, everyone's learning, uh, you know, every single day a little bit more. So, you know, I think you just, you know, you take these things one day at a time and, you know, the more you learn, uh, I think we've all learned a lot over the last five or six months. I've always felt like, you know, taking care of my body was really important, uh, not just for football, because that has been my job, but that's, you know, my quality of life in, in the future. I think you're of the belief that you either believe what you put into your body has an effect or what you believe doesn't have an effect. Um, and I think for me, um, in my experience, the better I've treated my body, you know, the better I've eaten, the more hydrated I am, the better pliability treatments I get, uh, the more sophisticated my workouts have been, the better my body's performed. So, you know, for me, it's been when something works, you do more of it. Um, when you do more of it, you see better results. So I've really tried to, uh, you know, continue that throughout my career and build year after year. And um, it's given me a great opportunity to be at this age uh, still playing a sport that I love because mentally I feel like I have, you know, all the ability. I've seen every defense. There's nothing that I, there's no play I haven't run. There's no defense I haven't seen. It's just physically, are you still able to execute your job? And I'm very fortunate to still be able to do that. And I know it's a contact sport and there's some things that are out of, out of your control, but you know, that's a pretty good lesson for life too. You don't have everything in control in life either. And the best you could do is prepare your body, prepare your mind for whatever comes at it. And then, um, you know, you have to always be able to adjust and adapt as best as possible. Okay, we have time for a couple more. Next up is going to be Mike Giardi from the NFL Network. Hey, Tom, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Um, I'm just curious, you know, you, you talked about not being able to practice with these guys, but you have been able to work out with them quite a bit. Just your impressions of the overall talent level at skill positions around you. And then if I could just piggyback off that, how does, how does Gronk look? Yeah, we've had different, uh, you know, different times to work out together. Um, it's been good being here in the building and actually have, being directed by the coaches of, you know, this is what, you know, we're going to work on and these are the plays we're installing. So you have a better idea of how things are going to come together on the offense. So, um, you know, the guys have worked really hard and it's been fun getting to know the receiver position. There's a lot of, obviously, none of the guys I've played with you know, Gronk's the only guy I've really played with. So I know what he can do. Um, and it's really up to everybody to, to, to go out there and earn their role. And um, you know, I've always believed that, um, you know, you, again, you get out of it what you put into it. And a lot of guys are working really hard. And, you know, they're working hard because this is their career. And they want to do a great job. Um, you know, regardless of who the quarterback was, that's important for all these guys. It's football matters to Mike and to Chris. Um, you know, I love being around those two guys who are great leaders, not only great players, but great leaders. Um, Cam and OJ, who have been here, have been, you know, really great along with the other tight ends in the group. Dare, Rojo, um, I met Shady the other day here on the practice field. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, hardworking group, really smart players. And um, again, it's going to be up to all of us to come together and to see how we can make it all work. Okay, our last question is going to come from Jenna Lane. Hey, Tom. Um, 
you've been in the same place for, for 20 plus years. So what is it like for you coming to this new place? When, when, does, when will Tampa Bay start to feel like home for you? Not just um, off the field, but on the field and Bruce Arians' offense. When will you know you've reached that point? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, it's, again, I think part of, I said earlier is, you know, you're trying to learn a bunch of different things and you're trying to, you know, not only learn an offense, but learn your way to work or uh, learn guys' names. Um, you know, I didn't even know where the quarterback room was, you know, or the, the full team meeting room was. So you get in here and your brain's trying to figure out a lot of different things. So every day that goes by, it's getting a little bit better. Um, I'm glad we're not playing a game. You know, this Sunday, I'm glad we have time to prepare. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a good week or so being in here. And I think every day I'm trying to take advantage of the opportunity to improve myself so that I can be the best quarterback for this team that, that this team really deserves. These guys are working really hard. And, and uh, you know, I want to come in here and do a great job for them. All right. That's all for today. Tom, thanks for taking Appreciate the time. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.